Hello, welcome or welcome back to this quite challenging but also quite rewarding lesson for the shoulders and upper back. There's nothing quite like it, I would dare to say. Just in the beginning, two words of advice. One is, I would suggest you to stay well within your limits. <laughs> what an advice. And secondly, repeat often. So we will start with the lesson. So if you would like to follow along, we will start by lying on the back, which sounds like an easy way to start, isn't it? So please come to lie onto your back. <laughs> Yes, so that's our starting position. The first position in this lesson. <clears throat> and then with your right hand, take hold of your left wrist. So if you have never done this before, there's two bones in your lower arms and there's a way to hold your, your lower arm so you can really hold it and the, the left arm can be almost like passive, sleeping, doing nothing while the right arm is holding the wrist of your left arm. And so, and thus you can pull with your right hand on your left arm. So try that to, to pull, to pull on your left arm and there can be a rotation, there can be a twist try how it is to pull gently of course lovingly it's still your arm and then bring both hands behind your head so actually that's our starting position the head is resting on your wrists or on both hands and then start to or continue to pull with your right hand the right hand pulls the left one or the left wrist and what does your head do? So the head does not slide together with your hands but lift your head a little bit so that the hands can slide behind your head. So maybe your elbows can touch the floor more or less and you can pull with your right hand your left arm so your left elbow comes behind your head, behind not above not on top of your head, but behind your head. So in between the floor and your head. And make that a movement. So you're pulling on your left arm. You're pulling your left arm to the right, which lengthens your left side, of course. And do this many times and stay well within your limits. I would suggest make this a gentle movement, a friendly, a friendly approach to pull with your right hand and see if you need to move your head or not or you can just lift your head a little bit so that the hands can move behind behind the head and, and of course take a short break take a take a little intermezzo don't do anything just rest see how you're lying on the floor how your arms can rest overhead maybe or maybe you want to bring them down slowly to rest your hands and arms next to your pelvis or torso and then we we'll continue with this movement so come into that starting position again with your right hand hold your left wrist place them behind your head, have your left leg long on the floor, the left leg is resting and your right foot standing on the floor, close to your right buttocks, so your right foot is standing in a position where you can push against the floor and when you push with your right foot against the floor, the pelvis can roll to the left, so you're almost like rolling onto your left side and Let's continue with the business of the right hand pulling the left hand. So pull with your right hand. Maybe you can even hold your left elbow with your right hand or your left lower arm somewhere to pull 
your left arm to the right and at the same time roll, roll, push with your right foot against the floor to roll onto your left side. So you're doing two, two things at the same time, my God. You're rolling to the left, onto your left side, towards your left side and pulling with your right hand on your left arm to pull the left arm to the right. And see, that's not only one direction, but it can go in, in various trajectories, the hand, the left hand can come to your right ear, towards your right ear, can slide to or towards your chin, or maybe even to your neck, until you end up, you end, yes, you end by lying on your left side with your right foot standing and your right knee pointing towards the ceiling and put your left ear on the floor in front of your left arm. So your left arm, your left upper arm is behind your head. Maybe you can rest your left ear on the floor or if that's not available, your left temple. Somehow play with that. How do you have to position yourself in order to make that happen, to have your left ear on the floor, have your head resting in front of your arm and continue with the pulling. So pull your left hand towards the ceiling. Bit by bit take breaks as you need. So my suggestion is to do the, this lesson, this video more often, but stay well within your limits, stay comfortable, don't ruin your arm. But instead go step by step so when you're on your left side and you pull your left hand towards the ceiling, maybe your left elbow can come off the floor and your head keeps resting on the floor. which means you're moving your arm without your head. The head is just resting and the left elbow can come off the floor or at least in your imagination. Maybe it doesn't move yet, but if you breathe into it and you wait a little bit and you pull just gently, maybe something in, your, in yourself, in your upper back will grant permission for this movement to happen. Or maybe not just yet, maybe we need to do this lesson more often. And then come to rest on your back and bring your arms to rest next to you. And just feel how you're lying on the floor now. The left side is strongly different than the right one. How your left arm feels, did you do too much or did you stay within your limits? Does your left arm feel lighter, more free than the right one? Let's do the same two things with the other side. So with your left hand, hold your right wrist and, the, and first just try to different positions for your left hand to hold your right arm. How can you, how can you get hold? of your right arm with your left hand. Like where's, where's good locations to hold with your left hand? It's not like taking a cat by its nape, but there's like bones inside your right arm and see where can you best pull your right arm with your left hand and the right arm is just resting. And then there might be a rotation and a twist in your right arm and maybe your head is rolling together with your right arm when you pull it. But eventually we need to bring both hands behind the head and try the same thing on this side. To pull your right arm to the left 
or your right elbow to the left behind your head so lift your head a little bit to make space for the arms to and maybe this side is quite different for me the right side is much easier than the left one so the right side can lengthen much easier than the left one And then maybe take a small rest just to give your right arm and your left hand, your left arm a little rest. And then stand your left foot, have your right leg extended. Both hands behind your head, so the left hand is holding your right wrist somewhere, your right lower arm, and then Start to push with your left foot against the floor, so your pelvis rolls to the right and you start to roll to the right and at the same time, two things at the same time, you pull your right hand to the left behind your head. So this happens behind your head, you can't see it, it's behind your head. Until, so you're rolling onto your right side while you pull on your right arm. And leave, leave space for experimentation. So maybe you can bend forwards a little bit more, or bend backwards a little bit to the side and see or push with your left foot from different locations. Allow yourself some space to move, to experiment. How do you need to how can you accommodate this movement until your right ear is resting on the floor? Before it was the left ear resting on the floor, now it's the right ear resting on the floor, the right temple at least. And when you're lying on your right side, start to pull your right hand towards the ceiling or your right elbow towards the ceiling and your head is resting on the floor. Or your right hand could slide towards your left ear or your, the chin on your left side or your nape, your neck, somewhere. Just the right elbow comes off the floor when you pull on your right arm. And we do this in, with the method of easiness, with respecting our limits, with trying to make ourselves feel safe and comfortable. So if you haven't started to take a break yet, so take a break on your back, just feel how you rest now. Then stand both feet with your left hand, get hold of your right hand again and pull your right hand to the left and see if you can hold your left ear with your right hand or the chin. Yeah. You slide your right hand around your face and maybe you can hold your chin. So don't play tag and run with your face, but turn your face towards your hand. So you turn your face, you turn your head to the left so your right hand can catch your face from the left. And by doing so, your left elbow might be able to touch to your chest, your left elbow might touch to your belly even. When you move your right arm around the back of your head so your 
right hand can touch your face from the left side or can touch your chin from the left side and your left elbow comes close to your chest or your belly even. <laughs> yes, that's an interesting feeling. Uh, like a, a blind person <laughs> touching your face and it's like your right hand touching your face from the left side from behind. That's a very unusual feeling, isn't it? Okay, then take a <laughs> short break before we switch hands and then switch hands and with your right hand hold your left wrist and pull your left arm behind your head to help your left hand to come around to touch your face on the right side. So the left hand is touching your right temple, the right side of your face, the right side of your chin. And <laughs> again, don't run away with your face, but turn your head towards your left hand that reaches around. So you turn your head to the right, so your left hand can touch your eye, your, the, your right cheek and see uh, the right side of your neck and your the, the hand that is pulling, the arm that is pulling, your right arm, the elbow of your right arm might touch your your chest or your belly even. And don't make this a stretch in the end position, but keep doing movements. So you're moving like a seesaw, like a saw to the right and to the left. So you're pulling your left wrist to the right and back again and see if your right hand can hold your chin and your right elbow can come to touch your belly. <laughs> yes, and then a short break. Uh, see how you rest now, how the middle, middle back or your upper back is resting on the floor, how your shoulders are resting on the floor. And we will continue to the next position, which is in cross-legged sitting. So please come up to sit, cross-legged, and with your right hand, get hold of your left wrist and the arms behind the head the wrists behind the head and start to pull with your right hand, your left wrist. It's the same movement like we did in lying down. No, now it's a different position. So you take rests whenever you need, when need, yes. And then start again gently into a movement. So staying well within your minutes within your minutes, within your limits, means that you don't feel uncomfortable. So if that's too strenuous, maybe you, it's, you can't bring the wrists behind your head yet, so maybe they need to be in front of your head or on top of your head and or a little bit behind and, and see how you can ease into this movement, maybe every day a little bit more by following the sequence on the back, rolling onto the side, on the side, on the back with feet standing, now in cross-legged sitting. Take a short rest in sitting and then switch hands. So with your left hand, hold your right wrist and start pulling your right arm with your left hand and have the hands behind your head. And again, see if your right hand can get hold of your left ear or the left side of your face. And if your left elbow can touch your belly
of your chest or maybe we switch sides again the right hand pulls the left hand and the left hand touches to the right side of the face Okay, so next position, but before that, we take a short rest in sitting, I suppose. And then have your left leg in front of you and the right leg folded behind you in sitting. So it's a little bit of a side sitting. And with your left, so when your left foot is in front of you, you with your left hand take hold of your right hand and you pull your right arm to the left behind your head so that your right hand can get hold of your chin so hold your chin from the left and then and then the elbow the right elbow which is the elbow in the air on top touch the right elbow to the floor in front of you or to the side so you have to bend forwards so the starting position is in side sitting and the right hand is holding your left side of your face from behind and then touch the right, the tip of your right elbow to the floor. And you can either pull with your left hand on your right hand or you can stand your left hand on the floor. Just try what you need to do to make this movement happen, to touch with your right elbow to the floor or to bend forwards, in which direction can you bend, where can you touch the floor. Or maybe even how can you point far up or a little bit behind. Also here, of course, stay well within your comfort zone, within your limits and then take a short rest in sitting. And while we rest, we switch over to the other side. So the right foot in front of you and the left foot behind you. And then we sneak the left hand up behind the head and with the right hand get hold of your left hand or your left lower arm or your left elbow in order to bring your left hand to your right cheek to hold your, the right side of your face with your left hand. And then again try to touch the tip of your left elbow to the floor or point it somewhere, point it up, point it down. If you do this video many times, maybe you can start to work this into a system up, down, left, right, circles in one direction, including your breathing, your eyes, maybe the different locations. You can be very systematic if you invest a little bit more time in this exploration. And of course, if you care to make a, to put this into a system then you can see where are your blind spots and where are the movements that you're really good in and what is the nature of this strange contortion so <laughs> that was the part in sitting and in side sitting let's take a one more rest on the back to see how it is to lie on the back <laughs> which could be an excuse to uh, lie down yes we are checking <laughs> but actually we're just resting uh, we are resting Okay, we could end it here, but let's do one more movement, a bonus movement, a different position, once more a different position on the front side. So please turn around to lie onto your belly.
and on the belly, of course, the same movement. For example, your right wrist holds, for example, your right hand holds your left wrist and pulls your left hand to the right behind your head. And the left hand could explore how to move towards the right ear or the right cheek or the chin on your right side or even towards your right shoulder or your right shoulder blade or maybe even down the left shoulder blade and the same for the right arm or both arms together so let's freestyle a little bit with this movements on the belly All right, so then for a last rest, come to lie on your back. See how it is to rest on your back now. Or see how it is to bring your arms overhead now, to rest your arms overhead. Or maybe just rest. and keep observing the changes from this very intense lesson during the day or during the following days before you do this lesson again. See how it improves your mobility, your possibilities in your daily life of moving your arms, how your, the use of your arms how the, or the service of your arms improves through this lesson, through this movement explorations, gentle trying to stay within our limits and yet pushing the limits, of course. <laughs> How can these two things be the same? Now, the last thing to do is to get up <laughs> and face the world in standing. And see how it is to use your shoulders in standing. All right, so it was my pleasure to present you this movement sequence. Thank you for watching and see you the next time around or see you in the next video.